Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy, and if you own a Google Pixel device and you're interested in joining the Android 16 beta, right now we are on Android 16 beta 3.2, and this is still part of that platform stability section. So this is where everything is kind of gelled together and working pretty great. This size right here for this update is 34 megabytes. The one before this one was 6.67, so it wasn't as large. And when you take a look at the schedule here, it originally started, you know, January, February for the beta release. A lot of people joined during March and April because it's part of the platform stability area of this update because it launches during the month of May. So I do expect to have one more bigger update than this one, which is uh, the Android 16 beta 4 during again the month of April. And then we'll have the main release officially launched during the month of May. Now, if you're curious on what was new with this update here, it wasn't too much. It's mostly just like bug fixes. But when you take a look at beta 3, beta 3 came out on March 13th. Beta 3.1 was March 18th. And 3.2 was April 2nd. Now, as you scroll on down, you'll be able to take a look at what was fixed with this one. I didn't really see anything new just yet. If there's anything to really come out and shoot another video for, I will. But I already scoured the internet to see if anybody found anything that I also couldn't find. And I believe it's really all just this right here. So it's basically a minor update to Android 16 Beta 3. They fixed an issue that caused haptic feedback to be miscalculated in some cases, which I did hear a few people mentioning that in some of my past videos. So at least that one is fixed. Also fixed an issue that caused excessive battery drain even while a device isn't in use. They also fixed the uh, an issue for the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro devices that sometimes cause the screen to flicker when taking photos or videos with the camera, and then fixed various other issues that were impacting system stability and usability. So as I mentioned from before, there really isn't not that much going on with this update, even though it's bigger than the 3.1. When you take a look at which devices is a part or can actually join this beta program, if you're interested, uh, it is Pixel 6 through Pixel 9 and the 9 Pro XL and 9 Pro Fold. So if you own any of these devices, you'd be able to sign up for the update once you sign up for the update then you'll be able to just see the update on your device when you go to the area where it says you know system update now if you've never joined a beta program before all you'd have to do you can just simply just go to google search and say get android beta and it'll take you right here android beta program now once you have logged in it's just looking for the devices that you have that you have like logged in with your gmail so you can see pixel 9 pro xl which is this one right here also have the Pixel 8 Pro, which is also a part of it. And that just says, you know, opt out. And I also have it on my Pixel tablet as well. And if at any point you just want to opt out, you can. Uh, but pretty much what you'd be able to do is you'd be able to take a look at the devices that you have that you are logged in with that Gmail. And once you hit on opt in, you just go down, you hit on, you know, yes and confirm and all that beautiful stuff. Then you just go through your settings of your Pixel to the area of the software update screen. And then you search for an update and it'll be sitting there. So that is everything I wanted to share in today's video. It's a very short video, but it's something that just popped up today. I wanted to cover it. I don't have a blog. I basically have a vlog, I guess you can say. And I wanted to shoot it in video form just to show you what is new. Again, I didn't find anything else different. I feel like it is actually running a little bit more smooth. So when I go into like my application tray and I'm scrolling through, I don't know why, but I feel like it's just a little bit quicker than what it was from before. So I feel like it is a little bit more stable, a little bit more fluid, but that's you know, maybe just me. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.